Hi everyone and welcome back to the gaming cupboard. I hope you're all doing okay. I've got a couple of things to show because last week I attended the Norwich Gaming Market. So I have two weeks of car boots to show you, but I wanted to release some of the footage I picked up from the day. Um, it was an amazing event. I don't know if they've done it before. I think this was probably the first time um, that they've done one, but massive credit to all the traders and all the events people all the boards game people all the organizers everyone who just made it an absolutely fabulous event to go to it was absolutely rammed to begin with it started to settle down towards the end and that's when i managed to get some walking around footage but a lot of the stuff i had there i was filming in about this much space but it was it was great it was great to see all the games and that there so I hope you enjoy that. If you haven't already seen it, it's my last video. I'll try and put a link in at the end of this one so that you can see what's what with it. Before we get on to the car boots, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers that I've got. I haven't got all the names of all of you there, but know that you are so appreciated. It really means a lot. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. So it means a lot to know that you've come and you've watched the videos and you've liked and commented and, and sub sub some more. And to all the other YouTubers who, are, who I've met since I've been doing this, because I've only been going like maybe two months now. Thanks for all the support and kind words and, and shout outs and everything. You you guys are absolutely amazing. And it's, it's a really nice community to be a part of. I hope I'll see you at some future gaming events anyway. <laughs> Um, but enough with this gushing show of emotion. It's not like me at all. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, let's go on to the pickups without any more waffle. So, the gaming market. Absolutely fantastic event. I didn't spend an awful lot there considering the, some of the stuff I showed you. So, it might seem as though I've got next to nothing. But I went there with the intention of getting some bargains. Not blowing all the money I had. And what I got I think was some decent games considering what I want for my collection and what they actually had so do these in order of what I picked up so the first one was from a store which had Mega Drive it had SNES games it had PC games underneath it had Game Boy games at the front it was everything and it was all kind of in crates kind of piled up on top of each other and those are the kind of stores I really like the ones that you can just get in and dig around the ones that organize it nicely and you know that everything's in a plastic container at the back you know you're going to be playing top back for that and that ain't me I can't afford that so this game I saw there and I've been meaning to get for this for a while because it's amazing value the reason I went for it is because the seller wasn't too bothered about the fact when I said to him I wanted some manuals for it he had several copies and said well you can just pick through which copy you want and just pick up the manuals because it's a multi-manual one so I got the Mega Games Collection 1 which I picked up it says four quid, but I got for three quid because the another one sitting there for three pounds. And um, it is in pretty nice condition considering its age. And I've got all the manuals, but I've kept them out because they don't fit back inside very well. So, got columns. World Cup Italia 90. It's got a little rip there, but that doesn't bother me at all. And lastly, Super Hang On, which let's face it is the reason I wanted to play it because amazing amazing arcade game although it does have a bit of a ring on it where someone's used it as a coaster but I'm really happy with that three quid absolutely chuffed next up I've taken your advice guys for the people who've um, commented from my last video where it's talking about N64 games and that although it isn't I picked up a SNES game which is Animaniacs such a quirky little game. I love the cartoon when I was younger. Konami game. Didn't realise it was Konami. Um, I've given it a go. He wanted six for it. I offered him five. And that was the same guy. And he was like, yeah. So I did pretty well out of him, to be honest. And um, really chuffed with those little bits. It's great little games. And the last couple of bits I got was a couple of original Xbox games. From Stall Just As You Go In The Door. Picked up Doom 3. which is complete with manual, which was two quid, which is slightly above CX, but I don't care for the fact that if I had to get one, my local one wouldn't have to, 
pay postage on it, so it'd be three quid down straight away. Probably wouldn't be as nice as this, and chances are, I don't know if they have the manual in. So yeah, two quid on that, absolutely chucked. And then the last one, another original Xbox game, was The Thing. Again, by Konami. Again, nice and complete. Which was three quid. I got those two for five. I was looking to get some more from him, but that's most of what he had. And um, yeah, for that, I should have mentioned this, before that um, market, I did go in a little bit early and hit a car boot on the way in. Um, I didn't get an awful lot from there, but I did get some bits that kind of for me and for trade. Most of them were packing up to be honest, so I'm surprised I got anything at all. I got this, which is a bit of a tank. There's a VHS player, because it was a pound, and it's got the composite in. So I'm sure that if I need to do some kind of recording for old consoles, this thing Will, will kind of help me in that. I know that other people have had issue with it doing before, so for a pound, I was like, yes, I definitely have it. And I've got some old VHS that I do want to watch. Um, and the other thing I've got, which has gone straight into CX, really didn't hold much interest for me, was the Ben 10, was it Alien Force box set, which I got for two pound and traded in for nine. So no interest really to me, but. Well, I'd say that, I was kind of interested in it. Um, but I thought I'd never get around to watching it, so that went into CEX to get some credit for me. So that was my Saturday. That was an exhausting Saturday, but an awful lot of fun. Definitely recommend, if they do it again next year, just hopping on a train, what have you, coming down. If you can get to it, it's definitely worth supporting these, these guys who go into that effort of doing it. So that's the Saturday out of the way. The Sunday, I managed to get up early and go to a car boot. There wasn't an awful lot there, but I did pick up some bits. First thing I saw was a stack of PS2 games. There were some Sims games in there, but they don't interest me at all. So I picked up the games that did. We have Tony Hawk's Underground, which is complete. Ooh. Original game receipt in there. 10 quid, I think. Um, so yeah, 50p. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, complete with manual, 50p. It wouldn't do three for a pound, so I had to go pay 150. It's bad for a tight ass like me. The last one I got was Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. Which unfortunately doesn't have the manual, but I've wanted to play this for a little while, so I can pick it up and give it a go, put it in my collection. So. I didn't get to go to the Saturday car boot um, this week and I didn't see the guy with all the Fallout Ultimate editions, to be honest I picked them all up I thought, but I didn't see him there with the other games and I was a bit confused as why I hadn't seen him but I found out why. Um, at the Sunday car boot there is a guy who is a bit of a trader, he's on some of the Facebook groups, um, certainly around my way. I know that he does trading games and he bought up all of his stock um, and he was selling the games at two quid each rather than a quid each. So I managed to, oh I picked up two and said would you do two for two pounds? He said yes and I was thinking well you're not going to make a profit like that really are you? You have to be making, you have to go on for next to nothing anyway. But I got another Fallout Ultimate Edition which has gone to CX off with Ben 10 and I picked up Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition for myself but I'm a Muppet and I didn't check the disc and the disc is absolutely scratched to shit. So I'm really, really annoyed about that because that I wanted to get for myself. I love Fallout 3. It was such an amazing game when it came out. Is it 2009, 2010? Maybe even earlier than that, but I really love this game. So I was really kind of annoyed at myself. A little bit annoyed at him to be honest, but yeah, I suppose he's got to trade anyway. Um, and he had a couple of other games in his um, collection that he was selling off. He had some um, Mega Drive games, and these he wanted six quid each for. So I picked up Micro Machines 2, which are fabulous like, party games you can play with a couple of people, which is complete with manual. Manuel. Manuel is in the house. 
get in there. And Micro Machine 1, which again is complete with manual. They were six quid each. I said, would you do two for 10? But it was like, no. And I was thinking, wow, well, you've got to try, haven't you? But no. Um, and that was it for the Sunday car boot. Not really very much. Um, so yeah, that was that was that week really. But I had a little bit of money there, left over for next weekend. So the Saturday car boot the following weekend, there was really very little in the way of games, to be honest. It was barren to the most part. I managed to pick up some bits which I'm gonna like stick into trade off. I'll show you briefly, they're a bit boring. I've got four Memorex tapes, somebody's had one out because it was a five pack, I've got four of them. And I got a grow blind, which is a blackout blind for like toddlers for two quid, um, which I know go for about twenty, so hopefully make a little bit of money on that. And uh yeah, the, the VHS I got along with a pair of turtle beach headphones which i'll try and put a little tag in up there um just to show you what they were i got the videos in them for five quid i think you want three quid each so i already made my money back on the headphones which i traded in for eight quid and the videos i think i'll get probably over a ten or five maybe even a little bit more um and yeah i say it was barren i got one game for me that weekend which was sitting there he wanted two quid for i said for a pound and he said yes and it is FIFA Street on the GameCube because I'm not going to leave a GameCube game sitting around complete with manual for a quid because I do love the little brick. It's still an amazing little lunchbox of a system even now and it's still quite cute. Um, so yeah, that was that. Actually, before this Sunday car boot, I made a little purchase off the flea bay, which you've already seen Maylog sitting back there on top of my telly with half of his mace gone, which made me quite sad. So I've been thinking, I'd actually quite like to pick up the um, Elder Scrolls Online limited edition packet. So I saw it on um, eBay and it was finishing at about nine o'clock in the morning or something. So just before I, finished, just before I started work. Um, so I had a punt, put in a bid and I won it. And it's saying it was like new, which was great. And then it was delivered by Hermes, which made me think it, Hear horror stories about Hermes, but actually, unfortunately, it was damaged. I'll lift it up for you to give you an idea of scale. But it is a big boy, it is a big boy. I'm gonna need some big shells for this. Look at that! That, that is absolutely freaking enormous. Put it on my mantelpiece, really, not even in my game room. Oh. It's pretty, pretty weighty as well, would it? There you go. I'm gonna put that down out of the way before I slip a disc or something doing that. Um, but yeah, when I opened it up, the statue unfortunately is broken in exactly the same place, but the other part of the mace is there. Get this down there, boy. Um, yeah, so I messaged the seller, said it's not as listed as, it's obviously not got broken transit from the way it's, it's packaged together. I didn't want to send it back though after that because I got it for just over 20 quid. I want, like, would you do some kind of refund to reflect the fact that it is damaged inside? They're like, okay, fine, how much you're looking for? So I said five and they accepted. So considering postage is about three quid, which is pretty decent to be fair, I've got the whole lot for under 20 quid. The game was sealed. I have since opened it to have a look because it is quite beautiful and the artwork's in there. It's a little bit of damage inside to the inserts, but other than that, really happy with that to get that for under 20 quid is amazing because people are trying to sell the figures on ebay for 75 quid on their own and i'm not paying that I'm not paying that so yeah i've got a spare mail of now i might have was bookends i don't know some kind of gothic bookend situation <laughs> but yeah i think that was i actually wrote it down it was 18 pounds 61 pence after the refund i had back so stoked chuffed to bits to have that um, and yeah that moves me on to the Sunday car boot to finish off the last weekend um, I got there early and there was a lady there who had um, an Xbox 360 out with a few games sitting next to it and she actually had a game from the original Xbox which was the Punisher sitting there um, it was 
without manual and a little bit scratched up. So I said, are you selling any of these separate? Are you selling it as a bulk lot? I'm interested just in this one. I didn't know it was backwards compatible anyway. It might not be. Um, but I said to her, would you split them up? So I said, they're my brothers, so I'll have to give them a call. So I said, okay, give them a call. I'll wander off, have a look around, come back. Come back and she said one or two quid each for it. So I was like, Considering the Punisher was in a bit of a bad way, I left that behind, but I did pick up this, which is Minecraft on the 360. Never been a fan of Minecraft, but it trades in for a bit. Although I did try with CX and they wouldn't take it because it was too scratched. However, the key with CX is perseverance because they do take scratch games, but they just don't realise it sometimes. But. I think that they will. If not, I'll give it a bit of a clean up, to be honest. It's not that bad. It's not that badly scratched at all. I think they're just being picky, because sometimes they are. Um, yeah, so that was one of my two pickups on the Sunday car boot. And I'll tell you why my second car boot, because there's a bit of second car boot, second pickup, because there's a bit of a story with this. Um, so when I get there, there's not many cars. It is quite a small car boot, but it does pull in quite a lot of people early in the morning, considering this. And um, there was one car that pulled up, and there was an old guy who got out, and he was pulling out old typewriters. And um, they're nice old typewriters, to be fair. I don't have anything, any aversion against typewriters, they don't interest me, but they look quite cool. And um, lizards were all around just pulling stuff out and like going for that. And um, I saw, just as that happened, a box console in the back of the car. I was like, oh no, I really want to know about that. And somebody had already had it out and said, can I have a look at it? So they're pulling out, having a look. There was a bit of talking, I was trying to listen in, but I was stand back. I'm like, you know, if I miss out on this, then I was too late to it, but I'll stick around because considering there's not many cars about at the moment, so I don't think I'm going to get much back. And um, so the fact they were, they were looking through it, this one guy and this other person, I said to the chap on the store, have you got any games? Is, is that your only console that you're selling? And he was like, yeah, it's just that. I was like, yeah, I really could have used some of the games with that. Really like this whole system. And um, so I waited around and they put it back. So I was like, okay, it's my turn now. So I picked this up. I was having a look at it. And um, lo and behold, the trader from the Sunday before who I got the Mega Drive games like trundles over as I'm like because I opened up have a look inside see what it's like and he was like how much is this mate was, at this point I was pretty annoyed at that to be honest thinking there's a degree of courtesy you've got to allow because if somebody's looking to buy a console then you know you give them dibs on it you just don't come jumping in over their shoulder asking how much stuff is and um so he just kept going oh how much is this how much is this and I'm just ignoring him at this point so I'm like just piss off you know this is I'm, I'm looking at this I'm going to speak to the seller about it as far as like you're concerned it's sold really if I want it so you wait back and you see what happens but people don't do that do they sad really um, but luckily the seller ignored him as well so it's like brilliant brilliant some decent decent sellers out there as well and um, so I asked the seller, I'll tell you what it is in a minute. I said to the seller, how much do you want for this? And he said, oh, they're going for about 50 quid. And um, I didn't have anyone near that with me. So I thought, ah, damn, okay. Um, I said, would you do 30? Kind of waited a little bit of time. Would you do 30? And he's like, i do 35. And I was thinking, I think that's everything I've got on me. So I'm like, yeah, okay. And I was 5p sure of that. So for 34 pounds and 95 pence, I have got a beauty to show you. I have got, oh, I'll put it around the right way, a Nintendo Entertainment System control deck with Mario. Now, I can't really do this justice on this camera, but I'm hoping you can see better than I can. This thing is mint. It's really, really minty certainly on the outside it is lovely you can see kind of here it's on my t-shirt a little bit of wear to the box on that side but 
absolutely nothing. The guy said his mother-in-law brought it for him or something and he was just had no interest in it. Um, it's gone a bit yellow inside, if I'm completely honest, so whether or not he just left it in the sun and just kept the box nice, I do not know. But I'm really, really chuffed to have this because if you were to try and buy one of these at a market, I think you'd probably be paying like 100 quid, maybe in excess of. And it's lovely. The inside, the polystyrene's all lovely. It's got, I think, most if not all the manuals, all the cables are there. It hasn't got the polys, but it's absolutely beautiful. For 35 quid, I was absolutely chuffed. So I was like, yeah, sorry, £34.95, not 35 quid. In your face, trader man, I even underpaid. And um, yeah, so that was it. I left after that, skipping away back to my car, and um, I left him for the rest of it. And then I managed to go back to bed. So, <laughs> so that was my um, my last weekend and, and the pickup I got from that. So, as you can tell, I'm absolutely stoked to have that. Um, I wanted, well, I wanted an S for ages, and I got that one over there. But this one is so so beautiful. So, I'm absolutely stoked to have that in my collection. And that's it, guys. That's all the pickups I've made from this last couple of weekends. Um, I will be going to see X and picking up some bits see what they've got to be honest my CS doesn't have that much good stuff but when they do have some good stuff I'll go there and get it but thank you for watching guys I hope you stay to the end and thanks for all your support like from now and going forward I hope to see you in the next one and take care everyone see you soon bye now bye